how to make your life interesting. Sometimes it's just time for a change. Our routines get boring, our habits get boring, and our lives seem to get boring. The good news. You can start changing that right now. Just remember this one thing, the only person who has to think your life is interesting is you. Don't rely on your friends' Facebook feeds or other curate and edited content to tell you what is interesting. It doesn't matter what others find interesting so long as it makes you happy. Are you ready to step up your game? Method 1 of 3, Developing Dynamic Interests Get a new hobby. There are hundreds of different things you can do with any size of budget. If you're low on cash, it's as simple as getting a pencil and piece of paper and learning to draw things. For absolutely no money down and no money ever, you can start going for walks in the countryside or along the river, or even start teaching yourself HTML or CSS. If you're willing to dive into your wallet, try dance classes, an instrument, or find a way to up your adrenaline. By keeping yourself occupied with something you enjoy, not only will you be less bored and therefore a happier person, but it'll make you a more interesting person to be around and could force you to make new friends. What's more, you'll have an awesome skill to talk about and showcase to the world. Take a course online. If you have the internet, you can get an education. Technology is amazing and it leaves room for no excuses. There are large sites like Coursera, One or Khan Academy that offer you free online courses, and then there are university websites like MIT and Harvard that put up all the content from certain courses online available to everyone. Not only does it keep you busy, but it keeps your mind working while expanding your horizons. Win, win, and win. And it's not like college where you have to take certain courses. You can browse through their class list and pick out one or two that would fascinate you. And if you don't keep up, there's no failing grade. Get involved in an organization that you believe in. Have you ever met someone that dedicates their free time to individuals worse off than they are? Odds are it hasn't been often and if you have, you've been in awe of them. Why can't this person be you? Whether it means volunteering at a hospital, an old folks home, or just giving dogs at the Humane Society walks, you and the world will be better for it. Doing acts of kindness will help you feel better about yourself and what you have going on for you, too. In addition to that, you'll be surrounded by like-minded, interesting people who also want to better the world. Get active in non-traditional ways. Being a runner is great. Going to the gym on the regular is wonderful. But what if your form of exercise was rock climbing or pole dancing or cross-country backpacking? It's good for your body, your soul, and it makes you pretty cool. What's not to like? This is a great way to get fit and to meet people. Join an adventure organization or a rock climbing team. Not feeling that crazy? How about your local intramural slam ball team or a horseback riding club? There are many groups out there that are just for fun and don't require a vast amount of skill. You can even find groups of people looking to try new things on sites like meetup.com. Do something you'd never dream of doing. We all tend to put ourselves into little boxes. We think we would like this, we think we should act like that but it really doesn't do us any good. Take a minute to think of something you'd never do and then put your mind to doing it. Would you never go skinny dipping? Do it. Never hold a spider? Do it. Even you can surprise yourself. It doesn't have to be something scary, it could even be going to a country music concert if that's something you'd never do, or traveling to a completely new place. It's about getting out of your comfort zone and becoming a more dynamic person. And this way, you can know if you actually like it or not. Get off your computer. Challenge yourself to limit your time spent on Facebook, Twitter, and every other site that isn't making your life any better. Think of all the hours you've wasted mindlessly scrolling down a page when you could be crafting something, talking to a family member, or helping out a friend. Being on your computer could be keeping your life from being more interesting and from being a better, more well-rounded person. 
don't go cold turkey we all still need our fix. Start just by limiting yourself. Once you've spent 30 minutes or an hour a day on the sites you frequent, cut yourself off. Change to reading a book, or learning that skill you've been trying to cultivate. Just remember social media presents curate versions of people's lives, and can lead to unrealistic expectations and even depression. Method 2 of 3, Keeping Your Life Busy and Exciting Shake up your routine. It doesn't matter if other people think you're interesting, it only matters if you think you're interesting. And all that takes is a few baby steps and a different routine. So wake up 15 minutes earlier in the morning, make yourself a breakfast you never eat, and go sit out on the porch with a newspaper. Spend a day going to the movies. Make hanky-panky during your lunch hour. It doesn't have to be big, it just has to be different. Try to think of one thing each day you can do differently. Whether it's taking a different route home, actually cooking dinner for once, or calling up a friend you haven't spoken to in years, give it a try. It's about surprising yourself, not other people. Find local events such as markets, festivals, and music events to attend. Pick out things in your area which you think might be interesting and give them a visit. There are often many local events going on, especially in summer, which don't involve spending much or any money. By doing these things which aren't part of your routine, you'll keep yourself surprised and energized. To find these events, read newspapers, go online, look at flyers on the street and in cafes, and talk to friends and strangers, like the girl setting up the mic at your favorite coffee house. You'll make social connections, too, making you feel doubly productive. Explore your hometown. When you go on holiday anywhere, the place you're visiting always seems so much more interesting than where you live. But in reality there is probably lots to do around where you live, you just haven't bothered to look properly since it's been there all along. Open your eyes, what have you been missing? Go to your local tourist information office and find out what the tourists do in your hometown. There may be museums, boat rides, art galleries, or landmarks which you never previously noticed or took interest in. Accept all invitations. If you keep coming up with excuses why you can't socialize then people will just forget about you and stop inviting you out. Even if you're not that keen on the people going, or the places they're going to, try giving them a chance and go and hang out with them anyway. It doesn't have to be all the time just once in a while. Socializing with friends is an instant uplift. If your life is full of work, work, and more work, put the guilt and the responsibility at bay for a day and go out and have fun. You deserve it. Do something spontaneous. On Sunday morning, you probably often find yourself lounging around, popping in and out of Facebook, watching some TV, and just taking it easy, at least, hopefully. Whenever you find you have a moment like that, take it as an opportunity to go do something. Book a night at a local hotel. Find a breakfast brunch buffet. Hop in the car and don't plan on where you're going. Be your own surpresologist. Make it a point once in a while to have a day dedicated to nothing, where you refuse to make plans. When that day rolls around, do whatever pops into your head. It could be a movie, it could be a trip to the mountains, or it could be somewhere in between. Just listen to your instincts. Organize a party or a night out with your friends. Not only will the organizing keep you occupied, but you'll have a good night to look forward to, and then something to look back on happily. Those around you will likely bring up ideas of things you should try, too. Find these opportunities, too. Are you out listening to live music? Buy the guitarist to drink and strike up a conversation. Get a bite to eat with your new slam ball teammates. Sometimes, you have to knock on opportunity's door and not the other way around. Plan a trip. Instead of spending your weekend at home, the weekends are great wherever you are, plan a trip for just a two-day getaway. 
You don't have to take time off work and it doesn't have to be expensive, it can even be half an hour away where you spend the entire weekend in a hotel basking in the room service. Just go out and have fun. Is there somewhere fairly close by that you've always meant to experience but just never gotten around to it? Take this as a prime opportunity to check it off your list. Even if it only takes an afternoon, it counts. Play tourist for a while, getting away from it all. It's a chance to relax, learn something, and get out of your routine. Please like, comment, share, subscribe our channel and no details click our social media link.